Hey everyone and welcome to yet another Season 4 guide. In this guide I will teach you how to play Thresh as a support. Enjoy the video. Thresh is my favorite support because he has everything a good support needs. He is a top priority pick and there is no real counter to him either. I played numerous amounts of Thresh games and with that experience, I will teach you everything I can to give you that shortcut to becoming pro with Thresh. For masteries, runes and item builds, please check the description. There is a detailed description about what to take and why there. For the video, I will cover the mechanics, laning phase and team fighting phase. So without further ado, let's get started with his mechanics. His passive, Damnation, makes enemies drop souls. This is a random event for normal minions, but for big monsters and champions it's a 100% drop. The souls give additional armor and ability power and they stack onto each other. Souls cannot be lost, however, because of this passive, Thresh does not gain armor on leveling up. Therefore it is truly essential to pick up all souls you possibly can. His Q, Death Sentence, throws a chain into a direction. On hit, it will be stuck on an enemy stunning the target for a small amount of time. The chain sticks for a couple seconds and allows you to pressure Q again. The second Q will pull Thresh towards his hooked enemy. This skill is great for catching people from long ranges or for setting up ganks. His W, Dark Passage, throws a lantern towards a position. This lantern sucks in all souls surrounding the lantern, gives a shield to all allies nearby and allows allies to click on the lantern. If allies click on the lantern, Thresh will pull his lantern back, bringing the ally with it. This is a great skill for saving people that are in trouble and also for setting up ganks by pulling your jungler in. His E, Flay, has a passive and an active. The passive is really strong because it gives additional magic damage on your auto attacks. This magic damage stacks up when you are not attacking for a while and can get incredibly high. The active is also very strong because it is an AOE displacement spell. What it does is push everyone who is around Thresh towards one side, dealing magic damage and displacing the enemies. After hitting someone with it, it also slows the enemy champion's movement speed allowing you to hit easy hooks. His R, the box, literally places a box around you. This box has 5 walls and each of them will do a high amount of damage on enemies walking through it. Once they are hit by one of the walls, they will also be slowed by 99% for 2 seconds. However, if a champion walks through a wall, the wall will be destroyed. Other enemy champions will not be hit by that wall. Alright, so now you kinda know how his skills work and what they are useful for. Now it's time to go more in depth on the laning phase and the team fighting phase. Thresh is incredibly strong in lane because of his E passive. Because his auto attacks have an insane range, poking with Thresh is really easy and very effective. His E makes you do insane amounts of damage on your auto attacks and landing auto attacks is a piece of cake. Therefore, try to harass enemy champions as much as possible. When enemy champions go for a last hit, walk forward and auto attack the enemy champion. This will make you deal free damage to them while they don't attack you because they want to get the last hit. Once you think you can win a fight, and to be honest if your AD carry is good it's almost impossible to lose fights with Thresh, walk up and auto attack the enemy as much as possible and use your play first. Seriously, people trying to hook first are really stupid because his E is very easy to hit that makes landing a hook much easier. After using your E, try to directly hook them. This makes them unable to flash and 100% assures you a hook. If you have Ignite, ignite the enemy champion as well. If you have Exhaust, don't do anything yet. Only Exhaust once you have used all your CC abilities or when you are focusing the support. Going for a support is nice because they are squishy, but be sure to exhaust the AD carry while doing so. On level 6, the real pain starts for the enemy because you can basically do the same thing you did before and you can trap them in your ult. Always try to position yourself behind the enemy champion. If it's possible, use your ultimate first, then flay them back into the wall and hook them into another wall. This deals a ton of damage and it's the safest way when they have their flash up. However, 
you can only use your ult first if you are behind the enemy champion. If you're not, you can also flash behind them. This is an aggressive move, but it 100% assures you of a kill. If they flash, they will still be hit by your flay, hook, and the walls. Thrash also works great with your jungler. You can set up ganks very easily by walking into the enemies, flaying them back and lanterning your jungle to you. There is not much you can do unless they have a Morgana support. A Morgana is Thrash's worst enemy. Alright, so that should be enough about the laning phase. To sum it up, harass with auto attacks, flay first, then follow it up at the rest, keep auto attacking in between, use lantern to pull in junglers, and exhaust the enemy AD carry after using your CC, or when you focus the support. Next part is team fighting. Because Thresh has so much utility, Thresh allows for great plays in team fights. You can catch people out of position, save your carries with Lantern, and peel with Flay and Ult. The real question is, when do you do what? When you're against assassins like Zed, Yasuo, and LeBlanc, always protect your AD carry. Literally stand inside of him to make sure he's safe. Once you see an assassin jumping in, directly exhaust him. Follow it up by a Flay, Hook, and Ultimate to bring your carries into a safe position. If your AD carry is out of position, use your lantern to bring him back to you. It is important to stay focused on your AD carry throughout the whole fight. When you think your AD carry will be relatively safe, go aggressive mode. If you hook an AD carry, it is almost guaranteed to be a kill. Don't completely ignore your own AD carry though. If he needs your help with a tank rushing him, hook the tank to give your AD carry some free space. Also, a good positioning of your ultimate helps a lot for your team. Try to position it in a way that tanks have to either walk around it, taking a lot of time from them, or that they have to run through it, slowing them and damaging them. Don't forget to use your active items in fights. They are great for supports to supply your team with extra utility. I personally think Mikael's Crucible is an amazing item to have on you to save people. But of course, you will have to use it. This will become easy once you have played a lot of support. If you know an enemy is out of position and your team is nearby, do everything you can to catch that person. If you have to flash hook or flash play to secure a kill, it's definitely worth it. You can pull people in with your lantern after catching them. Things like this win games. Seriously, don't underestimate the plays you can make with your flash. Most importantly is to not miss your hook. You need to hit your hook in fights because of its CC. You can easily hook your targets if you stay calm, flay ult them first and then hook them. If your hook is on cooldown and they engage, you don't have much to protect your carries. A lot is about hitting your hook. To sum this up, team fighting with Thrash is mostly about protecting your AD carry. Keep assassins away with exhausting your skills, use your hook to pull tanks away from your AD carry, use your lantern to save people and to reposition your AD carry, don't be afraid to take risks with Flash, and most importantly, play first, then do the rest to assure you hit your hook. If you do that, I'm sure you're gonna be a good Thresh. Oh yeah, don't forget to ward of course, Vision is king. Thank you for watching this HD commentary. If you've liked the video, please press the like button below. This helps me with getting bigger on YouTube. Also, if you want to see more Season 4 guides, feel free to subscribe and get all content on release date. Now, go into game and wreck some ass with Thresh.